Alex and it's Saturday at the NEC Restoration Show. The show has just opened. Started at nine, so it's been open four minutes and look, people are already piling in. So I better get the doors or the windows and the bonnet open on Zeb. Get Nick's car <laughs> opened up as well. He's not here yet. Um, and yeah, I think I'll just get cracking and do some jobs this morning before I have a look around. I must go over and catch up with the uh, Gay Classic Car Club on their Allegros and the Rovers headlining as well. Um, yeah, I've got things it's going to be too busy today to get a good walk around. I might send Rainy out looking for uh, screen wash jets that I need for the rear door. Uh, <laughs> right, let's get my ovals on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, easy to work on that. Yeah, very easy. So today's first job is fitting the new star motor to this. Should be nice and easy. If I show you... There's literally two bolts to the uh, housing here and then one bolt here or one nut shall I say just to take the live cable off excellent and thankfully that's not live because that's only live when the solenoid makes it live so we don't have to worry about isolating the battery on this occasion this is an inertia type starter so there's two types of starter motor, there's inertia type and there's pre-engaged. This is inertia because the solenoid is separate, the solenoid's up here, whereas pre-engaged has the solenoid mounted on the body and that sort of flicks the starter motor in. Whereas this one, it's sort of, um, I can make it work in between my legs, it sort of fires in to the flywheel and then when it starts, the engine starts, it locks it back. So that's the inertia type. Whereas the pre-engaged, the cog doesn't move unless the solenoid kicks it in. And there you go. I learnt something today, maybe. <laughs> Hope this fits. Oh, I picked the right size first time. 9 16th. Slacken them off. Oh, it's a bit tight to get the ratchet and the socket in there, so I might use a spanner instead. Oh, can't even get my ratchet spanner in there. That is annoying. wrong with this starter motor apart from it doesn't return quick enough so when you start the engine you hear the starter motor carry on oh. be a lot easier if I could get a ratchet in here thankfully I could get my ratchet spanner in to undo the wire Oh! 
We have a slight problem. The stud on the back of this starter motor is slightly bigger than this hole. So I need to find a drill or a file. Just probably a file, just to get that over there. I'm gonna come over here and see if they've got a file or a drill. Hello, Chris. Hello, you're right. Hello, Michael. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You all sound very sad. What, what are you trying to do, the timing cover? Yeah. That looks like a shit job. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's, there's a lock tap. Oh. Lock off there. So oh. Bad design because you would like to think. <laughs> so if we could just put that oh. far out. I think that would you'll get it. You'll get it through there. A long screwdriver. Yeah. Um, I've actually come over here trying to beg off you. Oh, <laughs> I either need a drill. A drill. Or a file. I've got just the thing. Have you? Biscuits! <laughs> I can't I can't make my hole bigger with biscuits. <laughs> right, so it's early in the morning, my brain's just trying to catch up. What drill do you need, Connor? I just need something I've got a hole that big and I need it a little bit bigger. It's very technical, isn't it, using my hand. <laughs> or a file. I just a file will do, but Chris, have we got any drill bits? Uh, yes. Can disco we lend down Alex here? a drill bit? And then yeah, she's going to come and do your, your gear selector later on. <laughs> on yeah, Alex. That can. makes yeah, for exciting no footage, it? wouldn't it? It was very exciting footage. What size do you need? <laughs> I don't know. About that size, have, apparently. Have you got the drill to go with the drill bit? Yes, I have. Oh. Because I like the main platform. You'll have to come and do the... Uh, the gearbox so, obviously. <laughs> Well, you do the timing cover first because I don't want to get dripped on by watery bits. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> but you've got to tell us what you're drilling so we can like, have a preview. Yeah, well, you, you can come and help if you want. It's, just, it's so annoying. I got a new starter motor in, oh. but the live cable, the stud on the back of the start, new starter motor is a little bit thicker than the actual mm -hmm. hole in the cable, which is very, very annoying. P series? Yeah. That's why. That's what yeah. Well, I have got an AC. <laughs> <laughs> it's Graham that's got the problem. <laughs> yeah. So you, we're trying to fix all these oil leaks, but as you there can see, any. I was going to say it seems to be the cleanest A series engine Head's I've ever seen. Heads back on though. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, okay. hang on. I'll turn, I'll turn you off so I can carry all this stuff. Right, stuff's getting serious now. <laughs> it's a bit OTT for a small hole. A file would have been fine. Hey ho. Uh, right, let's put you up here. Alright, let's find one. Oh my god. This is falling apart now. Let's find. Ooh, ooh. Let's go a little bit. Let's go 5.5.
right, is that going to be enough? Oh! Like a glove? Starter motor is fitted. Will it work? Managed to get Andrew working today. Look at that. Who said you couldn't polish a turd? Sorry, Graham. <laughs> Look at the She's difference. She's not sorry, Graham. I'm oh, not really. No. Look at the difference in the door. <laughs> that looks great. It smells good too. Look at the bottle. Proper old school stuff that I got from a car boot sale. <laughs> Glass bottle. Right. Let's take the jewel back. Morning. Uh, drill back drill bits there we go where are they under the bonnet under the bonnet just in case you're ever, just in case you ever find yourself doing the job alex there is a lock tab on the uh pulley bolt i know you showed me through oh the yeah i did didn't i <laughs> oh your memory's bad as mine drill is returned thank, thank you, you very much, much. No problem. Sure. We just Life found saver. out that we've got the wrong gasket. <laughs> Have you? Sorry. Yeah, there's two different shapes of gaskets. So what are you doing now? We're still taking off and I've got some gasket paper one. anyway. Oh, okay. That's what it's good. Can job make we one? bought the biscuits because I can use the biscuit <laughs> box. <laughs> there's oh. gasket paper. I've got some gasket paper. Oh gosh. You might be able to find one on a store. What's the difference then? Well, the shape. The shape. <laughs> oh dear. Do. Okay. What? Well, um, leave you to it there. <laughs> We check on Chris's progress here. <laughs> it's out. You didn't snap it. No, it's out. It's relatively clean. Don't forget it covered by the end of the day and pushed the way in. Oh, that's the table, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's not. I was I, thinking. Hang the, on a minute. That's not the <laughs> that's looks not like the sunroof, no, doesn't no. it? <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. I thought. Hang on a minute. No, it's a camping table. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, how you don't get it all covered in spray glue? Uh, uh, it's going to be a bit late for that. <laughs> oh dear. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Let's have a look in there with it out. Oh look, naked. Yeah. There's the sunroof motor. Naked. Electric. Yeah, all naked. Hot. And thankfully not broken as it came out. So that's oh nice. yeah, thank goodness so for that. Look at the done. mess though. I know, don't look at that. <laughs> Oh, don't look at that, I like that. I'll go, I'll just Alright, have fun. Let's see how Richard's doing over here. Oh, look, he's got a drink in his drinks holder. Mmm, naked. No electric motors, sunroof in this car, though. Oh, my goodness, look at all these bits. Oh, gosh, you've got to do those as well. Yeah. Ooh. This is thankfully the last of the trim panels to. It's just the millions of staples to delicately, delicately. Oh my goodness. Off. Did you bring a staple gun? No, I'm, I'm only going to glue it back on. I'm not going to staple it. You think it'll be good enough? Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Have you got the material unwrapped yet? No, it's not. Oh, it's still down there. Yeah, oh. Yeah, I mean, the next job, once all this is, is apart, get the material out with it. Start with the easy ones, the header and the, the, the two header rails, front and back, are just yeah. essentially letter boxes. Yeah. Quite, quite straightforward. I'll, I'll cut the teeth on those and then work up sort of bigger and bigger, and then probably the natural headboard. Have fun. <laughs> I don't know what's more scary seeing you lot with your headlinings out or them lot trying to do things on that engine over there. Well, that's the thing, I mean, the only time I can get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least you can drive it. Yeah, they didn't have it running. Yes, yeah, so, um, Michael sent me a video. Okay, pretty smooth. So 
running. Yeah, I've, I've heard it running. It sounded all right. It did, yeah. I just started um, Graham's car up that I'm working on. I just put a starter motor on, oh, yeah. and that works great. So, Excellent. bonus. Progress, and, you know, we're only at the start of the second day on. Yeah. All right, I better go back and do some more jobs now. Look, we're twins. Oh, we're twins. Twins. <laughs> I always see you in yours and I think I'm going to wear mine one Good day. Good idea. Mine's all dirty though because I work in mine. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what it's designed for. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I've got to find out why this fan belt's squealing because, I mean, it feels tight, but is it a bit cracked? I think there's another one in the boot. I might just put another belt on. Mm. Let's take this one off and inspect it. I think I've only got to loosen that one off down there and then loosen those off there. So the fan belt now is loose, as you can see, um, because I've loosened that, I've loosened that, I've loosened the top ones, um, but now it will come off nice and easily, which is good. So let's inspect it and see what condition it's in. Let's prop you up there. Starting to crack. Not good. I think there's another one in the boot. So we'll fit that, definitely. Right, I found another belt. It's a Halfords one, look. Um, but it's not cracked. It looks old, but it's not cracked. So that's good enough for me. We'll put that one on. Let's get this fan belt on. By people talking to me but I am um, I took that bracket off there completely the bottom bracket just to get enough uh, play to get the belt on I managed to just get it on the edge there then get a socket onto that and pull the belt over so feed it on so it's on there now I just got to tighten it up Hello, hi. are you serious love? yeah what's this one five or one seven fifteen hundred and seventeen foot Ooh. <laughs> Three of them. Did you? Yeah, the first one was that one. It was yeah. a sport. And the next one was the HLS. Yeah. Well, so you can't remember the third one. Oh, I can. <laughs> What's the LE2 on TW? Oh, really? Yeah. That's the one I had gearbox. I had the engine. Ramey's bought two. Thank you. Is there sugar in there? There is. Like it. 
feels a bit weak, a bit floppy. Oh no, that's way too floppy. Right, let's try it another way. Just, Just borrowed a pry bar from the Marina Club next door. So I can put a bit of pressure on that to keep the belt tight while I do it up. This could be fun. Yes. Oh, sorry, all you can see is my hair. Mm. I mean, you don't want it super tight. I think that's good enough. Oh. I'll finish tightening up the top ones now. And then uh, I think the test is to start it up, make sure the charging light goes out and make sure it doesn't squeal. Squealy fan belt. Right, I've got to sort out this sticking choke now. Right, so we have a sticky choke. Now the throttle's here. That's okay. That's got a return spring down there. That that returns nicely. But the choke here, it pulls that. Right, and what it does, it pushes the throttle a little bit. That's the fast idle. So that's a fast idle screw. That one. And then there. Uh, my torch on you can get down here so the choke it puts the fast idle on and it pops this ugh, I think they call that um, a jet pulls that down um, and then when the choke goes in sorry that's in <laughs> it's meant to pop that up but it's getting stuck See that? I had to flick that up down there, that red bit. So let's, let's simulate it again. The choke goes on, and then the choke's meant to go off. Ah, it went off then, but it doesn't every time. There you go, look. So now it's stuck. So if you give it a good old flick, you can't really do that with an actual cable. It's not a stiff cable. So why isn't it springing back? Something to do with this spring here being weak, I reckon. Or maybe it's just, I don't know, getting stuck in there. Got to figure it out. I don't know. Can't really fit any more return springs on because of where it is. The return spring would have to be from here up to something, unless I hooked it onto something like this. But that's a bit of a bodge, isn't it? Hmm. Work out what is sticking. Is it this that's sticking, or is it actually the jet? Well, it's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? <laughs> Let's give it a go. I'll tell you what, this engine's going to be nice and flooded, isn't it? Opening, closing the throttle and the choke, starting it for two seconds and turning it on. I'm rolling away here, I'm going to have to lock my stool. Oh, that's better. Not rolling as much. Let's try it then. <laughs> That's going to smoke later, isn't it? Should I give it a rub? Better do, and I. And then I'll try operating the choke from inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Right. You're not filming a muff again, are you? <laughs> All the torches have decided to die, so.
hopefully you can see. <laughs> I'm going to go and pull the choke in the car. Good, so it's returned. I'll try and do it slowly now. Oh, it's returned. Well, I'm gonna class, I'm gonna code that down as a fix. Yesterday I couldn't get Graham's front fog to work in, but I think I've gotten to work now. This relay here is sticking, so it really needs a new relay. Right, let's see if they're going to work. We've we'll got headlights on. It should be just headlights, I think. There you go. Headlights and horrible, horrible LED side lights. I think they need to be changed. Let me put the fog light switch on. Have we got fog lights? Oh, no. Hang on. Let me hit the relay. There you go. So, <laughs> definitely need to try and get a new relay today. Nick's back at work. Finally. What time do you call this, Nick? I know, yeah. It's uh, terrible. <laughs> well, he was late. I reckon he was late because he was looking for all these bits for me. Look, he's got bits of loom with plugs for switches. He's got the bulbs, little tiny bulbs for the switch. He's got some cable ties. He's got ground some more clips all to go up here because there's some missing so oh and some trunking as well he said maybe for the wire that goes through that hinge that'll be nice so that'll keep me busy and um, some diagrams as well how to wire in that fog light nicely Ooh, right let's sort this out then so i've been I've been looking at the wiring diagram and somehow we need to get this blue wire attached to the switch so the fog light will only power on when the lights are switched on so nick's just come over and helped me pull this switch out because there's mr blue see graham's got this on here this is for the side lights this little yeah, piggy bag this Whoa, floating around in the box uh, sorry i don't know whether that might be useful yeah you know. very useful little piggy bag it's handy because <laughs> i'd like i'd like to piggyback off of this connector so we can have the rear fog come on with the main and dipped beam only not the side lights right let's see what we can do we've got a beautiful bag of spaghetti down here mm. that might just do i mean it's a bit thick but it would be nice to use a blue color be nice to use blue. It is a big, big pile of spaghetti. <laughs> oh, little cable ties. I could have done with them yesterday. See, there's a thick blue wire. A bit like the. Where's the end of it? Yeah, that's thick. That is. I don't think that one's as thick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I reckon that's just long enough. You know. Put them in there. I don't know where I got these wires from. <laughs> Are those little cable ties? Oh my god, little cable ties! I wanted them yesterday. No, what a knob! Oh <laughs> Wait till I tell Nick. I tell Nick I'm a knob. So we need to feed a wire from that switch through here up to this switch. Should be easy enough. Oh, the first things first. Ooh. Yeah, Rainy's bought me a cheese and onion pasty, so I might have to eat that in a minute. Right, before I fit my pasty, I'm going to go and talk to Nick. Uh, Andrew's just readjusted the wipers, but yeah, a little bit off the screen there, Andrew, but okay, never mind. <laughs> so, what is Nick doing over here? Nick's playing tiddlywinks. <laughs> that's what you said, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Tiddlywinks through a letterbox. I don't know you can film that. But it's yeah, I can see it. The filter in there. There's a little coloured filter. That's for the indicators, that one, isn't it? Yeah. And you put some putty around to keep the, the filter yeah, in. Yeah, they fall out. Um, but they, they're, a, they're a terrible thing to get in place. They're fiddly. And there's a... The, the, hand, the, the smooth 
on the bulb side and, and like um is it slightly it, domed or slightly domed but they, they've got like a a, a, a a shine free surface a matte surface ah right okay so, you've got to get them the right so way it doesn't glare well. at you yes, yeah yeah so did you take them out of this one to yeah, put in yeah, that one? Yeah, them out. Oh, see, that one out. hasn't got the wood on it. That's right, yeah. So, so that's, that's from an That's FS? actually 1500 special. Oh, a special. Yeah, with the, with okay. the like that. <laughs> okay, so you've done, uh, you've done the filters one. now? Have you got more to do? That's it, they're all done. Oh, they're so all done. I've got to put the, the mounting clips on. Yeah. And then it just goes thump on the dashboard and hopefully make it look more pretty. Is that the last piece? That's the last piece other than the heater switch to go in. Okay. But I'll yeah. leave that out because I'll poke the wires through oh, first okay. and then, and then uh, clip it back in place. Cool. So, yeah, almost dash in time. Yeah. Will you need a hand doing that? Um, I'm sure one yeah. of us will help. Um, I've, got, I've yet to fit the um, heater oh, ducts. The heater ducting, yes. that's in, so that's in the boot, isn't it? Yeah. In. Right, we'll come back to you when it's in time. <laughs> I'm going to go and eat my pasty. <laughs> Pasty time. And now I've crimped a spay connector on, but for extra happiness, <laughs> I put a bit of uh, insulation on. See if I can get it over the spade. I'm just feeding it on. Protection. I'm doing it. That'll do. Fire to it. Oh, it's locked. Fire. Fire in the hole. I'm going to put an inline fuse in. I don't know what fuse he's got in here. 35 out, that's a bit, that's a bit much, isn't it? Hang on, do the little triangle thing. What is it? So it's a 20 watt bulb, 20, 20 watt divided by is it 12 volts equals something resistance and then you have to do resistance divided by oh, I don't know I can't remember I should know but I forget and that way you can work out how many amps you get without looking at my um, without looking at my little book I can't remember I wonder what amp fuse it is. I'll go and look it up, see if I can find it. Well, I'm not seeing much of the show today, am I? I'm just playing around with this thing. Well, um, I've had a look at it. Uh, the actual fog lamp fitting diagram that Nick gave me, it says it should have a 10 amp fuse. That sounds about right, but I put a 15 amp fuse in because that's, that's the lowest I've got. Right, I'm gonna fit. Just a crimp connector there. I'm going to put a fuse in line. Just getting the right amount of heat shrink. I like my heat shrink. I don't like that that is red and that is blue, but it's all I've got. So, so the. Come on, we cans. See if I can set fire to myself. ready to switch on the fog light the rear fog so switch is in the bulb seems to be working on continuity test so there's an earth for the bulb 
that I've put here with all these other earths that are randomly here. The live is in the plug with the live from the headlights and the cable for the fog light. So, shall I put you back here or back there? Let's think. No, come on. Okay, headlights are on. Oh, it's lit up. It's lit up there. Has it lit up here? Yay! We have a fog light. Do, 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 do. Happy days. Let's check it turns off when I switch it off. Dodgy bulb. It's off. <laughs> and it's off. Woohoo! Job done. Happy days. So I'm really happy with the work I've got done today. Done quite a few jobs. Start motor, sticky choke, fan bell, fog light. Yeah, time to go and have a walk around now. See what's about. I've got to go and see what they're doing over at the other Allegro's, haven't I? Oh look, looks like he's got the new headlining on the board. I thought he'd got a hole in it then, but I think they're meant to be there. Mmm. Feels nice. What are these guys doing? You're not doing a lot of work now. We're just standing at fire having a break. We burnt it. Oh, yeah. have you? Oh, check out my fog light. Oh, is this the incorrect? I'll have a look at your fog light. I've got mine all working now. £1.50. I was going to say, it's the right one. Where's the wrong one so I can see the difference? Have you got the wrong one? The wrong one has now been disposed of. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Well, there you go. So they're doing the timing chain cover. Let's have a look. Timing chain cover gasket. Could really go off the leg rows, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bling, isn't it? That is. Nice. Oh, that's brake bits. Why is there brake bits here? Oh. Looks like Chris has been sorting the calipers out. Lubricated his yolks. I won't touch it too much, I'll get oily. And how's Richard getting on? Oh, look, he's covered all of his side bits. Mm. Looks like he's got the material here. Look, oh, it's foamy. Oh, I didn't know it was foamy. Oh, I don't like the feel of foam, it's a bit weird. Well, I couldn't resist it. I've come back to the water jumble. I've got to have a look because um, Graham could do with a new relay for his front fogs and we need washer jets and we haven't come to see Matt at MB Engineering. He does the vapour blasting. He's got the go-kart on the stand again and his escort. He broke his escort. Has he fixed it? He must have fixed it. Mm. Hello, Matt. Hello. You fixed you fix your escort? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we did a compression test. Yeah. We, um. Because there was a picture of some scoring yeah, on the board. Yeah, no, the scoring's still in there. It's still in there. The scoring still is still in there. In there. <laughs> we literally did a compression test and went, well, it's not too bad. And I thought, well, we'll put some two-stroke in the petrol for a bit of added lubrication. Okay. Check the timing and we drove it. Did you? And our plan is to drive it a little bit more, put the camera back down and see if the scoring has improved a little bit. Okay. Like gone away. <laughs> Magically, it's um, gone away. And ignore it until we've got the other engine ready. Oh, you've got another engine? Well, we have, but we still need to machine it and all the rest of it. But it works. It works. It doesn't breathe as much as it was. and so it's Magic. So a bit of two-stroke in the fuel then? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll leave me horse tied up outside. <laughs> it's um, an area. And you said you've got some new stickers out? Yeah, we got the... Uh, New rust is lighter than carbon fibre. <laughs> Very good. So we've got that in tax version or external light. Yeah. 
and, uh, and then we've got your some, hybrid ones. Yeah, that we like having a dig at the hybrids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been, even, so many people go, oh, we love that. <laughs> <laughs> this year we've actually doubled up on the number of stickers we ordered. Have you? Because we were nearly running out that show. Oh blimey. Yeah, we had to stop giving them out on the Saturday afternoon because we wouldn't have had anything left for Sunday. Oh gosh. Well, that's, we, good. that's a good thing. Yeah, we had um, something like 300 odd stickers of just the hybrid ones. Just think how many like... cars are going around with your website on. Exactly. Yeah, that was yeah. your boy, wasn't it? Oh, every sticker <laughs> has our website. Yeah. And we had a customer ring us up and he lost our phone number and everything and he was like, how am I going to get in touch? And then he remembered the website's on the sticker. On the sticker. And he rang us up. Ideal. Solved it. Brilliant. So the business is going well? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. January was chaos. This month's tailed off a little bit, but it's given us breathing space that's for the good, rally yeah. and the show. Yeah. So my phone all day Thursday was ringing customers going, you're not here, and it was like, well no, we're at the NEC, oh. and it's like, right, and then, but it's a bonus, because we've got one guy collecting parts, who's coming tomorrow, Okay, yeah. and we've got a guy dropping an axle casing off that's coming from Lincoln, trust me. Oh, blimey, he's not bringing it in here, is he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. What, on his he, shoulders? Yeah, he, he, he said, you won't miss me, I'm the one carrying an axle. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, Blimey. So, um, but, um, no, it's no, I'm glad it's going well. Good to see you again. And you. So. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Yeah. Well, I wasn't looking for it, but I found this oh, Rover P6 front side light, complete with its little, little tit or pip, whatever you want to call it. Five pounds. Not a crack in it. Look, there's another starter motor, like the one I fitted to Graham's car today. Now, all we need now is some washer jets for his estate back door. Well, I couldn't, couldn't not come and say hello to Blockley Tyres, couldn't I? Graham's got his eyes on something like this for Betty. He said he wants the white band on. I'm not a big fan of the white band, but technically it is his car, so... <laughs> You're buying them. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll strike up a deal with Julian though. He's <laughs> over there chatting at the moment. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just said to Raimi, this car's really been pooped on, isn't it? And then he just said, ass. <laughs> Britain's best hands on ass. <laughs> nice one. Alex's R6. I'm back at the Allegro Club stand. I bought a new washer jet. It's the wrong one. But I was hoping to do something, and Andrew's come up with an idea. There you go, that's the new jet I bought, and that's the old brackety type piece. Just put it all through. And he's drilled a hole through the old rubber bit. Look at the filth. No, very dangerous. You shouldn't try things like that. No. <laughs> Might lose your fingers. Yeah. And I hopefully think, we can get it to work. Yeah, I think I need to drill the hole a little bit bigger. Okay. But don't feel Not that on big. camera. No, it's very no. dangerous. Drill, drill through your foot or something. <laughs> I'll see how Nick's done. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Me again. Hello. You again. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's looking a lot different inside now. Wow. Dash is in. Heated tubes are in, look. And the little vents up there. Dash pod. He's got the old steering wheel off. He hasn't put the new one in yet because he's got to put this console in. All the switch gear there and stuff. There's the new wheel. We saw that yesterday. Look, brand new. Mm. What, what are you doing now? Oh, you're setting this up. Set, just, um, wow, that's a nice radio. All the, all the, all the centre console cleaned Long up. Long wave and, and medium wave. That's oh, yes. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not even AM. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I've done the um, the old trick of, of cleaning these turned aluminium knobs up oh. by mount, mounting them in the in a in a, in a electric drill right. and then using fine grade sandpaper as you hold the drill on and that acts as a lathe. And oh really? You, you can duplicate the uh, turned finish. Oh wow! <laughs> nice one. Cost you nothing uh, restoration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah. So that's that's ready to. One of the things I've discovered underneath the dirt. Yeah. I don't know when it's happened though. It's oh, overspray. It's overspray in, in primer. Oh no. So, um, I've it, got I've got thinners in the car, but I don't know if that's too aggressive. Well, I'm going to try a bit. Um, I mean, luckily when it's in, it's it's on the lower corner. Mm. But I'm going to try some thinners. I think when I get get back in the workshop. Mm. Um, I don't want to do it here in case anything goes yeah, horribly wrong. Yeah. yeah. But that's ready to go in. Aww. And uh, I've also taken the switches to pieces. Yeah. They suffered with the usual problem of the chrome peeling off. Yeah. Uh, we've Ooh. gone, cleaned them all up, and gone over it with this liquid chrome mirror effect pen. Yeah. Yeah. And they're drying on the back parcel shelf. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Through the glass. Wow! Look at that. Yeah. yeah. They look good. It should be dry by tomorrow. They look good. Look at this live action. Don't don't feel pressured here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. I was, I was just going to show the switch. I just helped Nick. He's he's got the overspray off because I give him a little bit of thinners, and he went mad with it, but it worked. And this hazard switch was white. I should have I should have pictured it before, but I put some tire gel on it. And look at that. It's like brand new. Brand new. Let's hope it works. <laughs> it's, it's slippery. It's slippery. <laughs> oh. oh, look, there's the plug hole to spare on the uh, pad for the centre of the steering wheel. I wonder where that badge went. I've got one of those in my cabinet at home. Yeah, um, another small load of nonsense. Go on. Black like background for Austin's and light blue background for Morris. Oh, okay. So you're going to find the equivalent of the Marie in it. Should be light blue. Oh, I never knew that. There you go. More use, use useful, useless Useful's information. Knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Are you winning, Andrew? He's getting serious. He's put his dirty clothes on. Oh, no. oh my God! Careful. Why are you taking that off? Because we can't get to the bolt. Oh my god. So we do a major disassembly for a temporary fix. It's mad. It might be a permanent temporary fix though. Yeah, my, <laughs> might ones, have to my be. ones normally are. <laughs> and just like that, Saturday's over. <laughs> Within a blink of an eye, the show is closed. Hmm. Anyway, tomorrow is Sunday and I'm going to predominantly be looking at rovers. So if you're looking to see what rovers are here, I will be looking tomorrow and filming. Um, I'll still catch up with these guys, with the Allegros and the rover on the corner. I feel bad not including everyone on this stand, but uh, I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to focus on Allegros and rovers really. So <laughs> yeah, we'll check, we'll check out what they're up to again tomorrow and then go and look at the rovers and what else we can find now what is that the stone chip oh yeah i forgot about that yeah i bought some stone chip for mr jenkins um just before um i'll say goodbye i was just going to say uh the washer jet i managed to pick up one in the auto jumble that one and andrew come up with the idea of fitting it with this so it looked sort of original and what it works basically so we've, we've got we've got screen wash the pipes connected happy days it's looking promising for zeb working fog working washers what next the driver's seat anyway that's for tomorrow thanks for watching bye